we will start off the reading with the first card, which is in your environment. It's called Transformation. It's the same as the death card in traditional tarot. And as you guys know, I never feel like it's a death of someone. It's really that you've transformed your thoughts and your beliefs and your your probably your life is changing. A different foundation than what you're used to, right, for some of you all. And so that may mean different people. It may mean um, leaving one company and going to the next and a different life. So this is a this has been a time for you of endings. Um, and don't resist the abrupt changes because the changes are to move you forward. We know that in life, right? And again, this could be taking place in your relationships. It could be taking place in your work, uh, in your business, in your spiritual life. So it asks, this card asks you to have courage and to know that renewal fo follows every conclusion. And it does. We know that when there's there's death, there's spiritual rebirth, or there's some type of rebirth, right? So I feel like for a lot of you Aquarians, this is... You know, this is apropos. This is life-changing, what you've been going through. And this card comes forth to let you know that the death and reliving is an important part of life, and it moves you forward on your new path. So that's what you're, you guys are doing is you're moving forward into um, a new path. You can't live in the past, right? So in order to take the next positive step, you should always look at your own life and ask yourself, are these, are there loose ends that need to be tied up? Is there anything I need to be doing or any people I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed to make a fresh start? Because you, some, again, some of your endings are completing. So how can you tie up any loose ends? How can you reach out to someone if you feel like you need to? or just take care of any business. All right, so that's interesting. It's the first card, your environment. The second one is actually what's changing. So you are moving forward. This is the same as the uh, chariot card in traditional tarot. In this particular deck, it's called the triumph card. I love that uh, because you are coming into a part of triumphantness. <laughs> After a long journey, this card comes forth and says the power of your soul is pushing and nudging you steadily forward. So from this death and rebirth, now your soul is saying, okay, I'm, I'm on my new path here. You're setting new goals, a lot of you, uh, developing ideas, planning a journey. Um, whatever it is, it's been carefully thought out. Or you may still be thinking it out because this is what's actually changing right now. So tap into your inner guidance and balance it with self-control and, you know, perseverance. And you can manifest what you want. So tap into what your soul is really, really wanting to achieve. What you're wanting to see in your life. What you're wanting to uh, manifest and see unfold for yourself. Is it a life of... It may not be a life of luxury, so to speak, as in material things. It might be more of a life of feeling good about your environment, your home, having enough to spend, you know, when you need to. Um, but the values in life might be the connections with people that you're making, the relationships you're making in your life. And that might make you the happiest, Aquarius, is just being supportive and feeling supported from others. And I feel like that you're moving into that phase. You know, this particular card is facing the other one. I love to use my selenite wand. <laughs> um, so he's, he's riding into the strength of the, of the transforming that you all have done. He says, okay, I can take this, what I've learned from this, tie up any loose ends, and now you can move forward. You're ready to go in a very spiritual type of way, in a, um, really, you're mental. Mentally, you guys are ready to move forward. So the best thing to do, really, with this card 
is to visualize uh, the successful result as if it's happening now. You know, that's what we do, right? Just it's it's sort of the law of attraction. Law of attraction. It's visualizing what you want, and then of course just not clinging to that. I think that's what the you know the mistake people made is with the law of attraction. We want it. We want it. We want it. We want it. We want it now. You know. So then the universe says, "Well, you're you're clinging so hard that we can't we can't." come in and, and make the changes that need to be changed and help you out because you're, you know, you're stiff. It's, it's like when you relax and go with the flow, then the universe can help you. So uh, visualize what you want in life. And this card reminds you that you don't have to be alone in life with the ups and downs. It's, it's, you know, he has his horse and his horse is guiding him. So you have support from friends. You have support from some of you family. Um, so it's it's time for you to, to tap into actually the powerful knowledge of others. This is a great time in May to be making connection with other connections with other people. Some of these words I'm having to say twice. So that's interesting. Uh, to me, that means that they're important if I'm having to repeat myself and your inner resources as well. So it's other people and your inner resources so that you can move along the path that you want to. So this is what's, um, this is what's changing for you. And I feel like you guys are building your foundation sturdy and strong. Not that there's, you know, not any challenges. We always have challenges, but it's like we're laying brick by brick by brick when you build a house. I mean, it's just layering, and you guys are doing that. All right, so the outcome card is the patience card, and this is the same as temperance in traditional tarot. And for the outcome, it signifies the need for self-control, patience, adjustment, moderation, balance, dealing with others, and yourself. It could be the area of how you think and how you work and uh, how you talk to other people. You, look at how you interact with other people or, or observe it, I might say. And the outcome is asking you to pay attention to how you interact with other people and how when the conversation, this might be fun, is when the conversation is completed, how do you feel that you've contributed? Or how do you feel another person's contributed? If it's, a, you know, if it's a meaningful conversation, it's just like, you know, you're passing someone by and say, hey, how's your day? But if you're having a meaningful conversation, observe the tidbits and the knowledge that you're getting from that particular conversation because the inner resources like this car was talking about of yourself and the knowledge of other people is going to help you put your plan together better. And this temperance is like balance, patience, self-control, you know, um, knowing when to speak up, knowing when to not speak up. Because this card can also indicate someone who's very good in a social situation and being around others. So this could be you, maybe you're very good at that. But it is about listening, sharing, and reaching out to others. And it'll renew your faith in yourself and mankind. You know, we're there's a lot going on right now, obviously, spiritually, politically, uh, worldwide. And so a lot of you will be giving your own service to other people. Some of you are light workers. Some of you are holistic healers. Some are your, some of you are innovators, inventors, teachers, and teacher in the widest range that can be. Whether you're a school teacher or whether you're a minister or a spiritual leader or um, a big shot thought. Um, thought provoker, I might say. So some of you are coming up, or a lot of you actually, with some really good um, harmonious, uh, what do I want to say, in in incremental 
information that's coming into your life, I feel like it's setting your boundaries, setting your foundation, setting your life into a harmonious life. Okay, so that's an interesting, I went on a little bit longer, as I do with you guys, Aquarius, there's something about you um, that makes me want to do that. May, reminds me of that song. Do you remember that song from the, it's the 80s in excess, there's something about me or about you that makes me want, it's different. But anyway, I said it, so I'm going to uh, go with that. Oh, what I'm doing is I'm pulling one of the seven chakra cards. Oops, that's not one of the seven. As a resolve for you guys to see which chakra really fits this reading. Well, none of them fell out but this top one. Throat chakra. All right, so this has to do with your speaking, how you communicate. Here we go. So that's what that's the throat chakra, of course. It's the color blue. Where is my blue crystal? Um, here's sort of, this is more of an angelite. But there's there's any type of blue crystal helps in, in speaking, communicating. I, one time I was uh, driving to a class I was going to give and I wanted to be heard as um, informative, genuine, clear, concise, and a little bit of, you know, entertainment, fun. So I carried a blue calcite, or actually I held it in my hand while I drove to the class and the class went off, well, like I wanted it to. So if you have a a calcite or something blue, you may want to keep that around you or hold it or put it in your pocket to clear and to balance your throat chakra. You can hum, ohm, sing, and that helps. So the universe is saying, focus on your speaking and your communication with others. All right, I'm going to add these cards up for you, Aquarius. This is 13 and seven is 20. And 14 is 34. 3 and 4 is 7. Well, we have the 7 here with the chariot card, don't we? 7 is about self-reflection. And I think that's what you guys are going to be doing in the biggest way. You're, you're self-reflecting so that you can move forward. It's giving you a lot of um, initiative to do so. Well, the 7 in the Major Arcana is the Chariot card. So what can we say about that? We've talked about the Chariot card, how you're ready to put your steps into place, being kind to others as well as being kind to yourself. All right, a lot of soul growth going on with you, Aquarius. 